We have an arithmetic sequence here. Um, these are basically like cousins of function questions, if you're familiar with those. And what we're being told is we have a sequence of numbers where the names of our numbers are t sub one, t sub two, t sub three. That's basically saying this is the first number, this is the second number, this is the third number, all the way through t sub n, which could be any number. So we're told the first number in our sequence is 23. And we are also told that every number in our sequence, which could be represented as T sub N, any number is equal to the number that came before it minus three. So if we look at this formula, and this is where people typically get lost in sequence questions, this is saying if I was trying to solve T sub 10, so the N would be equal to 10, but the, the 10 is really just saying it's the 10th number in the sequence. It's not giving the value of the number. It's just saying it's the 10th one in the sequence. It's gonna be equal to T sub 10 minus one, which is nine minus three. So it's the value of the ninth number minus three gives the value of the 10th number. But the 10 and nine are just saying it's the 10th or ninth number in the sequence. For example, if I was drawing out um, multiples of five forever, T sub one would equal five t sub two would equal 10, t sub three would equal 15. And I could make up a rule where t sub n equals five times n or t sub n equals t sub n minus one plus five. And either one of these rules would work if I told you t sub one is equal to five. So that I would know, okay, starting with t sub one, that's five, every number is equal to the number before it plus five. So t sub two would be equal to t sub one, which is equal to five plus five. So t sub two would equal 10. So that's the idea with sequences. And basically what we're told here is we're going from 23 to 20 to 17. And we're looking for what number it will, what number we'll have when we equal negative four. Okay, the elegant way to solve this is if I think about it, the value of the t, t sub n, is also really equal to 26 minus 3 times n. So for the first number, it's, tw it's 26 minus 3 equals 23. And for the second number, 20 is equal to 26 minus 3 times 2, which is true. So I just converted it to something that's more usable for me. So now I'm saying, okay, negative four is equal to 26 minus three N. I can then actually solve this, subtract 24 from both sides or 26 from both sides. And I get negative 30 equals negative three N, which means N equals 10. And that would be our answer, which is answer choice C. Another way to do this would literally be, and you have time to do this if you understand it, just jot them out and say, okay, T sub one, T sub two, T sub three, because it's not that far. You can look at it and say, okay, from how far am I moving from 23 to negative four? From 23 to negative four is a distance of 27 because we have to pass zero and then go four more. And 27 over steps of three is nine steps, but we're starting at T sub one. So nine steps from T sub one is going to get us to t sub 10. And you could think about it from that approach as well, which is our steps are three, the distance is 27, but we're starting at t sub one. And so we need to take nine steps. And that means we're going to end up at t sub 10 and 10 is our answer.